over there is where my outfit is. And now it's on my body. So this is my uh, costume for the thing. I have a bulldog on my shirt. Mirror selfie. Oh God. Honestly, the craziest thing about this whole experience is the fact that they're big fans of what I do. Like it's it's trippy. I, I wasn't really expecting that. It actually helps them to hear what people think and especially somebody who's been through it. And I think that that's so wonderful that we live in in a world where we're starting to be at the point where YouTube and the regular media can kind of influence each other and they can have like a dialogue, you know? The, you can be more genuine about it when you can really hear what other people have to say about your show and, and I, I just, you know, I like it. What, if anything, have you gotten out of this show as far as like what it's like to live with an illness and what it's like to live in the hospital? Uh, it's a very easy answer for me. I've grown as a man because I believe it is uh, awareness, something that I've been uh, now privy to, uh, spending all the time uh, in the hospitals with the kids and realizing, um, you know, the sort of bat battles and struggles that they're going through, but how strong they are and how they persevere. And it teaches me a lot as a man as I grow older and what I could teach my future children. Okay. I love it. Good job. Was that all right? Yes, that was perfect. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm playing May, and I have CF. Woo! <laughs> did I do it? You did. <laughs> What's the best part about working on the show? Uh, the people. <laughs> Have you learned anything that really stands out to you about like CF or about the, the it's my first sick world? Medical show, so I learned about the wonderful inaccuracies of medical television. <laughs> <laughs> what was your goal when starting the show? My goal, in the most clinical sense, is to create an efficient, organized, effective, productive television show. My my more sort of poetic, esoteric goal was. What I saw when I read the scripts was that the story of these group of kids in this hospital is really a story of survival and a story of affirming life and that the suffering and the pain and the journeys that they were going through were sort of allegories for what we all go through to some extent and they're so heightened that we can apply any of our suffering because they're suffering so much worse. Right. So uh, hopefully right. at the end of the day First there's a positive, is hopeful, life affirming show. I love it. Kick ass. What's amazing is how much they care about what they're doing, you know? I think I think what really happened with the show, what I'm getting from everyone, is the pilot was written a certain way by certain people and it was amazing um, and they loved it and they were on board. And then kind of throughout the whole show, the writers changed and production changed and a lot of the stuff that they wanted to do, they couldn't. It's sweet because while I've been reviewing this, you know, I've been more criticizing the medical facts, but I feel like there is so much they could have done with it about living with, living in a hospital and, and you know, making it so much more. And so as much as I appreciate it, I love even more that they realize that too, you know, and all the actors who are on board get that what they're doing is important and they're sad that they don't get to do everything that they wish they could and really make the show what they want it to be and I really, I kind of feel for them there and it's amazing how hard they try to make it accurate and to make it something worthwhile for people and it's, it's sweet, it's kind of touching, it's like, it's like they're trying to create my world, you know? Oh, hey. Excuse me. Yeah? They're ready for you. Oh, okay. They're ready. Bye. That was my day today. It was quite fantastic. And I'm going to go sleep. The end because I have my glasses on. This is this is my, like, long day look. Right? <coughs> I just put all my hair over to one side. I put on my sweater. And I got on my glasses. And I go into some homework and nerd out. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Alright, <laughs> bye.